What's up South fans around the world and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm gonna address one of the most common things when it comes to upgrading the NG93 lighting on the car. For example changing the fog lights to LEDs or changing the low beam for LEDs or the license plate lights. So let me show you what we have to work with today. So to start off I have upgraded the headlights on my NG93 which from factory has halogen bulbs that are really weak during winter time and I need better lighting. So I have installed a Xenon HID conversion kit which comes with an HID lighting ballast and to add something to that because if you just install it with this ballast and the brand new light bulb then you will get errors that sometimes it may might work and sometimes you will get an error that uh, that the light bulb is out of order and then you go ahead and add one of these like warning cancelers uh, that is basically more or less a resistor or a relay but that really doesn't work all of the time either so what you really need to do and what is the real problem right here is that the car is not using a CAN bus system it's, it has a light surveillance system so when the car is woke up let's say that you open it for instance then the car will start to send pulses to the lighting to see that the, the lights are intact and they are working and for a stock halogen bulb the system will not detect that it's broken or anything because the resistance will be great enough but if you for some reason install like xenon uh, conversion kit for the low beam lights or if you change the stock spool lamps or these bulbs that sit in for the uh, license registration and change these for LEDs for example then the resistance will be too low on the LEDs so when the car is sending the pulse to check the, the lamp or the bulb then it will light up for a quick like a split second but it will flicker so when you turn the car on and have it on it might work and be lit up all the time but when you turn it up, off it will flicker for like 20 to 30 seconds and most people just run with it like that and accept that it flickers when you turn off the car then you have different bulbs that you can buy all these three are like spool lamps and these are like available on eBay and they are probably named like super sport special no error at all lamps and this is like a common or they are named like canvas LEDs no error lights but for the car it, it will give you an error either way. So the solution to this problem is one you add like a resistor but a resistor will need a lot of space because it gets really hot after a little while so and you will need some extra wiring and the best way to do it is the solution that we got right here from Maptune Performance, Maptune Parts. This is the Maptuner X that you could loan or borrow when you buy the app. Or you could just purchase the unit by itself if you want to tune your car, have a unit that you can read error codes with and do some logging with 
So in today's video I will show you how to get the car to work with this lighting so we can enjoy some better lighting during the winter time. So here we have the first error. You can see that the lights are flickering. You can see that the car is sending the pulses to check if the lighting is okay. And if I light it up, you have perfect lighting. And as soon as you turn it off, you get the same flickering. And now I will start the xenon lights in the front and you will see how that goes. So what happened right now when I switched off the lightings and turned them on again you can see that I got an error code right low beam out of function left low beam out of function as well but still they light it up so it works so now I'm just gonna plug in the map tuner X this is a loaner unit so this is not my own you got a pretty neat decal and you got usb cable to hook it up if you need some help from napkin otherwise i think it would be plug and play with just uh, obd2 cable so the map tuner x just lights up as soon as you plug it into the OBD2 connector and here you can see you got a lot to choose from and we will head right into this LED lamp enabler so this app right here So it's contacting the ECU of the car. Just takes a couple of seconds. So now we are into the app right here and since this is a loaner I will enable LEDs for the, the post that I might be doing. So as of right now I knew that I want license plate rear Then you can see that they light up on the display and I also want low beam enabled I want front fog lights front position lights I'm, all, I'm gonna enable everything because you never know and then we are going to click save changes successfully installed that was so easy so now we can just go to home and 
we can just unplug the map tuner X. And we can head out and see how it works. For example, now I'm gonna lock the car. I can unlock it. No flickering yet. I can light up the lights. And before when I turn them off, they started to flicker right away. Now we have nothing at all. We could try the same for the the headlights, the low beam. We can actually start the car up. the warning now we don't have any warning so I can flick the lights back on still no warning everything works as it should and we have LEDs enabled So that's it for this video, crazy easy job with the map tuner X. Just some simple clicks, wait a few seconds and now I have the freedom to install whatever lighting I want without error codes, without problem. Lights will light up as they should and no surveillance will be checking all the lamps so just crazy easy. So I will put a link down in the description box below where you can purchase the app. Of course you need the app and you need a loaner unit or if you are going map tune any of the stage tunes then you can get the map tuner X and you buy the app also or if you have the map tuner X you can just purchase the app and you will be enabled to get all the LED lights and scene on lights and whatever you want to add so crazy easy if you have any questions please leave a comment down below otherwise subscribe to the channel it means a lot to me and i will see you in the next one bye